So here I am with a scooter, with a bolt-on battery, and did I notice any difference? All right then, guys, so you know I've got the 9Bot Segway ES2 kick scooter. Now, I've been out on this in one video, and I found it to be absolutely awesome. Now, I wanted a bit more power for this thing, so I've gone ahead and bought myself the bolt-on battery pack that gives you an extended run time, and it also gives you a little bit more top speed. And we've got the extra bolt-on battery to install. So we're gonna install this in the video today, and then we're gonna take it out for a little run and see if it's made any difference at all. So one of the main reasons for me doing this upgrade is because a lot of people online have recommended it. They say it brings the device to life, it makes it a better experience, a better ride. Also, I'm quite a heavy guy, so I'm hoping that putting one of these on will really help the performance and it will be a bit better for me. Got some tools in here. There's an external battery warranty, external battery manual. Now this weighs 1.9 kilograms, so it's quite a weight increase to your scooter, but I've been told that it's worth it and there is a noticeable improvement in performance from this upgrade. But do you know what? It's well built. It's got a good build quality to it. You can also see the current battery level, so three out of four. You can see it kind of glows red there as you're riding along. It's got nine bot written right there as well. It's a nice piece of kit. This feels like you've bought something expensive and damn right, these are quite expensive, guys. All right, step one, remove the three screws on the stem. and then remove the charger port cover. You can see the uh, ports there where the new battery is going to plug into. Now I was kind of worried that the original charger port was going to get wet because it wasn't going to get covered properly, but uh, in actual fact there is a rubber seal on this so it looks like that's gonna cover over the charger port and stop any moisture from going inside. Install the battery rail. Step three, attach your battery pack. Then it says to put the rubber stoppers in. So that's the battery installed. See it here on the stem of the scooter. All that's left to be done now is to charge this battery pack up. Now I just prefer this, I think it's a better flap. So now the scooter thinks, rather than being 100% charged, it's 83% because it's charging the two battery packs together. You can see on the bolt-on battery, it glows red. Underneath the chassis, got this sort of full breathing colors, pulsating round and round. And at the back, you've got a brake light. This flashes as you brake. And on the front, you've got the front headlight as well. And I'm going to check it out and see if it's made any difference whatsoever. So here I am with a scooter, with a bolt-on battery, and did I notice any difference? To start with, no guys, there was no difference. And that's because of one simple reason, one simple reason. The bolt-on battery pack had less capacity, less charge in it, than the built-in battery did in the scooter itself. So the two are out of balance, one's discharging on its own, the other one's trying to catch it with that. When they're in sync, the full power is unlocked, and that's where we've got to at the moment. I'm noticing massive amounts of difference in this now. It's got a peak top speed that stays there. It climbs up hills better. So there's no hiding from it. I'm actually overweight to ride this scooter, but with this bolt-on battery, it makes it a lot more comfortable for me. Oh yeah, there's way better pull on this now. Way better, way, way, way better pull. We're against the wind, but we're still getting a good 18 miles an hour. Absolutely awesome. Truly worth the money, I think, guys. It's brought this scooter to life. It really has. Now, there's a pretty big incline coming up here, guys. And before, with just a single battery pack, I could never have made it up this hill. So let's have a look now. Blimey, it's doing it. I can't believe it. It's doing it. Oh, yes. It's managed it. Here we go. So it made it quite easy, actually. I'm quite impressed with that. It did slow down quite significantly, but that was probably a 25% gradient there. So quite impressive, really. Now we're at 20 miles an hour. Downhill power. Yeah. But the ES4 is definitely the way forward. It's got the right amount of grunt, and it seems to get up and go quite well here. I'm quite impressed because this is very bumpy terrain, and it's managing it perfectly. 
Again, I just can't believe how much of a difference this has actually made. It's made this scooter come to life, it really has. It's unbelievably quick now, and it's got the acceleration it needed to start with. But then I suppose if you're a lighter person, you'd be all right anyway, wouldn't you? Because you're not carrying as much weight, and the scooter doesn't have to try as hard. Whoa, that's a big bird right there, wow. Another quite steep incline here, and it's just tackling it so well. So would I recommend the 9Bot ES2 battery upgrade to making this thing the ES4? Of course I would, it makes a massive difference, even for a guy of my weight, that is astonishing. So there it is. Do I think the battery bolt-on pack is worth it? Absolutely. Okay, and we're off. Yeah, the torque on this is unbelievable now. It really is. For a guy that weighs 105 kilos, it's going all right. And I'm quite impressed with this. It really isn't going too badly at all. Going up a slight hill here, 17, 18 miles an hour. It's going though, isn't it? It's going. If you've got an ES1, ES2 at the moment, and you want a bit more range, a bit more torque, and a bit more top speed, a bit more consistent speed, I think is what I'm trying to say, that battery pack makes all the difference. That scooter is now classed as the ES4. Now, depending on how you use your scooter, you should see significant improvements with this battery bolt-on. At the end of the day, yeah, I'm really impressed with it, and I'd recommend it to anyone. So there you have it, guys. That was the result of the new battery installation. What a difference, eh? Top speed's increased, range's increased, and the torque's increased. Bear with me guys, there will be more videos filmed with this in the future. I can't wait to take it out on the trail. It's summer, we can get outside and have a lot of fun. Anyway, thanks for watching. As always, please comment, subscribe, like, and I'll see you next time. I'm Jake Billing, see you later on, bye.